Sefer Shemot, the book of Exodus, chapter 6, Parsha Wa'era, Torah portion, and I appeared. And Elohim spoke to Moshe and said to him, I am Yahuwah, and I appeared to Abraham, to Yitzchak, and to Yaakov as El Shaddai. And by my name, Yahuwah, was I not known to them? And I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their sojournings, in which they have sojourned. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Yisrael, whom the Misrites are enslaving. And I have remembered my covenant. Say, therefore, to the children of Yisrael, I am Yahuwah, and I shall bring you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrites, and shall deliver you from their enslaving, and shall redeem you with an outstretched arm and with great judgments, and shall take you as my people, and I shall be your Elohim, and you shall know that I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, who is bringing you out from under the burdens of the Mitzrites. And I shall bring you into the land which I swore to give to Abraham, to Yitzchak, and to Yaakov, to give it to you as an inheritance. I am Yahuwah. And Moshe spoke thus to the children of Israel, but they did not listen to Moshe because of shortness of, of spirit and from hard slavery. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, saying, Go in, speak to Paro, sovereign of Mitzrayim, to let the children of Israel go out of his land. And Moshe spoke before Yahuwah, saying, The children of Israel have not listened to me, and why would Paro listen to me? for I am of uncircumcised lips. Yahuwah spoke to Moshe and to Aaron and gave them a command for the children of Israel and for Paro, sovereign of Mitzrayim, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Mitzrayim. These are the heads of their father's houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Kanok and Palu, Kitzron and Carmi. These are the clans of Reuben, and the sons of Shimeon, Yemuel and Yamin, and Ohad and Yakin, and Zokhar and Shaul, the son of a Canaanite woman. These are the clans of Shimeon. These are the names of the sons of Lewi, according to their generations, Gershon and Kahath and Marari. And the years of the life of Lewi were 137. The sons of Gershon, Libni and Shimei, according to their clans, and the sons of Kohat, Amram, and Yishar, and Kebron, and Uziel. And the years of the life of Kohat were 133. And the sons of Merari, Machli, and Mushi. These are the clans of Lewi, according to their generations. And Amram took for himself Yochebed, his father's sister, as wife. And she bore him Aharon and Moshe. And the years of the life of Amram were 137. And the sons of Yitshar, Korak, and Nepheg, and Zikri. And the sons of Uziel, Mishael, and Elsaphan, and Sithri. Aharon took to himself Elisheba, daughter of Aminadab, sister of Nakshon, as wife. And she bore him Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. And the sons of Korak, Asir, Elkanah, and Abiasaph. These are the clans of the Korkites. And Eleazar, Aharon's son, took for himself one of the daughters of Putiel as wife. And she bore him Pincus. These are the heads of the fathers of the Lewites, according to their clans. This is Aharon and Moshe, to whom Yahuwah said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Mitzrayim, according to their divisions. They were the ones who spoke to Paro, sovereign of Mitzrayim to bring out the children of Israel from Mitzrayim. This is Moshe and Aharon. And it came to be on the day when Yahuwah spoke to Moshe in the land of Mitzrayim, that Yahuwah spoke to Moshe saying, I am Yahuwah, speak to Paro, sovereign of Mitzrayim, all that I say to you. And Moshe said before Yahuwah, See, I am of uncircumcised lips, and why would Paro listen to me? So Yahuwah said to Moshe, See, I have made you an Elohim to Paro, and Aharon your brother is your prophet. You shall speak all that I command you, 
And Aharon your brother shall speak to Paro to let the children of Israel go out of his land. But I am going to harden the heart of Paro and shall increase my signs and my wonders in the land of Mitzrayim. And Paro is not going to listen to you. And I shall lay my hand on Mitzrayim and bring my divisions and my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Mitzrayim by great judgments. And the Mitzrayim shall know that I am Yahuwah when I stretch out my hand on Mitzrayim. And I shall bring the children of Israel out from among them. And Moshe and Aharon did as Yahuwah commanded them. So they did. Now Moshe was 80 years old and Aharon 83 years old when they spoke to Paro. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe and to Aharon saying, When Paro speaks to you, saying, Show a miracle for yourselves. Then you shall say to Aharon, Take your rod and throw it before Paro, and let it become a serpent. So Moshe and Aharon went in to Paro and they did so as Yahuwah commanded. And Aharon threw his rod before Paro and before his servants and it became a serpent. But Paro also called the wise men and the practicers of witchcraft. And they, the magicians of Mitzrayim, also did so with their magic. And they, each one, threw down his rod and they became serpents. But the rod of Aharon swallowed up their rods. And Paro's heart was strengthened and he did not listen to them as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, The heart of Paro is hard. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Paro in the morning as he goes out to the water. And you shall stand by the river's bank to meet him and take in your hand the rod which was turned into a serpent. And you shall say to him, Yahuwah the Elohim the Hebrews has sent me to you saying, Let my people go so that they serve me in the wilderness. But see, until now you have not listened. Thus said Yahuwah, By this ye know that I am Yahuwah. See, I am striking the waters which are in the river with the rod that is in my hand, and they shall be turned to blood, and the fish in the river shall die, and the river shall stink, and the Mitzrites shall find it impossible to drink the water of the river. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, Say to Aharon, Take your rod and stretch out your hand over the waters of Mitzrayim, over their streams, over the rivers, over their ponds, and over all their pools of water, that they become blood. And there shall be blood in all the land of Mitzrayim, both in wooden and in stone. And Moshe and Aharon did so, as Yahuwah commanded. And he lifted up the rod and struck the waters that were in the river, in the eyes of Paro and in the eyes of his servants. And all the waters that were in the river were turned to blood. And the fish that were in the river died, and the river stank. And the Mitzrites were unable to drink the water of the river, and the blood was in all the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians of Mitzrayim did the same with their magic, and the heart of Paro was strengthened, and he did not listen to them, as Yahuwah had said. And Paro turned and went into his house, and his heart was not moved by this either. And all the Mitzrayim dug all around the river for water to drink, for they were unable to drink the water of the river. And seven days were completed after Yahuwah had struck the river. And Yahuwah spoke to Moshe, Go to Paro and say to him, Thus said Yahuwah, Let my people go so that they serve me. But if you refuse to let them go, see, I am smiting all your border with frogs. And the river shall swarm with frogs, which shall go up and shall come into your house, and into your bedroom, and on your bed, and into the houses of your servants, and on your people, and into your ovens, and into your kneading bowls. And the frogs shall come up on you, and on your people, and on all your servants. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Say to Aharon, Stretch out your hand with your rod over the streams, over the rivers and over the ponds, and cause frogs to come upon the land of Mitzrayim. So Aharon stretched out his hand over the waters of Mitzrayim, and the frogs came up and covered the land of Mitzrayim. And the magicians did so with their magic, and brought up frogs in the land of Mitzrayim. Paro then called for Moshe and Aharon and said, Pray to Yahuwah to take away the frogs from me, and from my people, and I shall let the people go to slaughter to Yahuwah. And Moshe said to Paro, Explain yourself to me. When am I to pray for you, and for your servants, and for your people, to destroy the frogs from you and your houses, and remain only in the river? So he said, Tomorrow. And he said, Let it be according to your word, so that you know that there is no one like Yahuwah, 
our Elohim. And a frog shall turn aside from you, and from your houses, and from your servants, and from your people, they shall remain in the river only. And Moshe and Aharon went out from Paro. And Moshe cried out to Yahuwah concerning the frogs which he had brought against Paro. And Yahuwah did according to the word of Moshe. And the frogs died out of the houses, out of the courtyards, and out of the fields. And they gathered them together in heaps, and the land stank. And when Paro saw that there was relief, he hardened his heart and did not listen to them, as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Say to Aharon, Stretch out your rod and strike the dust of the land, so that it becomes gnats in all the land of Mitraim. And they did so. And Aharon stretched out his hand with his rod and struck the dust of the earth, and it became gnats on man and beast. All the dust of the land became gnats in all the land of Mitraim. And the magicians did similarly with their magic to bring forth gnats, but they were unable, and there were gnats on man and beast. The magicians then said to Paro, This is the finger of Elohim. But the heart of Paro was strengthened, and he did not listen to them, as Yahuwah had said. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Rise early in the morning and stand before Paro as he comes out to the water, and say to him, Thus said Yahuwah, let my people go so that they serve me. Or else, if you do not let my people go, see, I am sending swarms of flies on you and your servants, and on your people and into your houses. And the houses of the Misrites shall be filled with swarms of flies, and also the ground on which they stand. And in that day I shall separate the land of Goshen, in which my people dwell, that no swarms of flies shall be there, so that you know that I am Yahuwah in the midst of the land. And I shall put a ransom between my people and your people. Tomorrow the sign shall be. And Yahuwah did so, and thick swarms of flies came into the house of Paro, and into his servants' houses, and into all the land of Mitzrayim, and the land was ruined because of the swarms of flies. Paro then called for Moshe and Aharon and said, Go, slaughter to your Elohim in the land. And Moshe said, it is not right to do so, for we would be slaughtering the abomination of the Misrites to Yahuwah, our Elohim. See, if we slaughter the abomination of the Misrites before their eyes, would they not stone us? Let us go three days' journey into the wilderness. Then we shall slaughter to Yahuwah, our Elohim, as he commands us. And Paro said, I am letting you go. Then you shall slaughter to Yahuwah, your Elohim, in the wilderness. Only, do not go very far away. Pray for me. And Moshe said, See, when I leave you, I shall pray to Yahuwah, and tomorrow the swarms of flies shall depart from Paro, from his servants and from his people. But do not let Paro again deceive, not to let the people go to slaughter to Yahuwah. And Moshe went out from Paro and prayed to Yahuwah. And Yahuwah did according to the word of Moshe, and removed the swarms of flies from Paro, from his servants and from his people. Not one remained. But Paro hardened his heart at this time too, and did not let the people go. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Go into Paro and speak to him. Thus said Yahuwah Elohim of the Hebrews, Let my people go, so that they serve me. For if you refuse to let them go, and are still holding them, see, the hand of Yahuwah is on your livestock in the field, on the horses, on the donkeys, on the camels, on the cattle, and on the sheep, a very grievous pestilence. And Yahuwah shall separate between the livestock of Yisrael and the livestock of Mitzrayim, and let no matter die of all that belongs to the children of Yisrael. And Yahuwah set an appointed time, saying, Tomorrow Yahuwah is going to do this word in the land. And Yahuwah did this word on the next day. And all the livestock of Mitzrayim died. But of the livestock of the children of Israel, not one died. Then Paro sent and see, not even one of the livestock of Israel was dead. But the heart of Paro was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And Yahuwah said to Moshe and Aharon, Fill your hands with ashes from a furnace, and let Moshe scatter it toward the heavens before the eyes of Paro. And it shall become fine dust in all the land of Mitzrayim. And it shall cause boils that break out in sores on man and beasts in all the land of Mitzrayim. So they took ashes from the furnace and stood before Paro, and Moshe scattered them toward the heavens. 
and they caused boils breaking out in sores on man and beast. And the magicians were unable to stand before Moshe because of the boils, for the boils were on the magicians and on all the misrites. But Yahuwah strengthened the heart of Paro, and he did not listen to them, as Yahuwah had said to Moshe. And Yahuwah said to Moshe, Rise early in the morning and stand before Paro and say to him, Thus said Yahuwah, Elohim of the Hebrews, Let my people go so that they serve me. For at this time I am sending all my plagues unto your heart and on your servants and on your people, so that you know that there is no one like me in all the earth. Now if I had stretched out my hand and struck you and your people with pestilence, then you, have been, then you would have been cut off from the earth. And for this reason I have raised you up, in order to show you my power, and in order to declare my name in all the earth. You still exalt yourself against my people in that you do not let them go. See, tomorrow about this time I am causing very heavy hail to rain down, such as has not been in Mitzrayim from the day of its founding until now. And now, send, bring your livestock to safety and all that you have in the field, for the hail shall come down on every man and every beast which is found in the field, and is not brought home, and they shall die. Those among the servants of Paro, who feared the word of Yahuwah, made their servants and livestock flee to the houses. But those who did not set their heart on the word of Yahuwah, left their servants and livestock in the field. Then Yahuwah said to Moshe, Stretch out your hand toward the heavens, and let there be hail in all the land of Mitzrayim on man and on beast, and on every plant of the field throughout the land of its rhyme. Then Moshe stretched out his rod toward the heavens, and Yahuwah sent thunder and hail, and fire came down to the earth. And Yahuwah rained hail on the land of its rhyme. Thus there came to be hail, and fire flashing continually in the midst of the hail, very heavy, such as had not been in the land of its rhyme since it became a nation. And the hail struck, in all the land of Mitzrayim, all that was in the field, both man and beast, and the hail struck every plant of the field and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the children of Israel were, there was no hail. Paro then sent and called for Moshe and for Aharon, and said to them, I have sinned this time. Yahuwah is righteous, and my people and I are wrong. Pray to Yahuwah, for there has been enough of the thunder and hail of Elohim. And I am letting you go so that you stay no longer. And Moshe said to him, As soon as I go out of the city, let me spread out my hands to Yahuwah, that the thunder cease and the hail be no more, so that you know that the earth belongs to Yahuwah. But as for you and your servants, I know that you do not yet fear before Yahuwah Elohim. And the flax and the barley were struck, for the barley was in the head and the flax was in bud. But the wheat and the spelt were not struck, for they were late crops. And Moshe went out of the city from Paro and spread out his hands to Yahuwah. And the thunder and the hail ceased and the rain was not poured on the earth. And Paro saw that the rain and the hail and the thunder had ceased. Yet he sinned again and he hardened his heart, he and his servants. And the heart of Paro was strengthened and he did not let the children of Israel go as Yahuwah had said through Moshe.